Hello and welcome back to Seconds Out. My name is Eamon Khan. I'm joined today by Kieran Gething, who is taking on Sean Yaxley on July 1st. Kieran, how are you doing, sir? I'm very good, thank you. Good to hear. Good to see that you're doing well too in a sunny, sunny England or sunny Wales right now, depending on where you where you are right now. But um, Sean, you've got uh, sorry, Kieran, you've got Sean coming up July first. Um, talk to me about this fight and how you're feeling in terms of your preparation towards a July first date. Yep, really excited. Uh, it's a fight that should have happened in April, but uh, different reasons fell through, and. Um, sticking to the promise and making sure it happens um two welsh guys who you know we were the same weight in the amateurs although we never boxed each other uh he was a little bit younger than me he's gone on to do 12 and 0 as a pro i'm 12 and 2 it's uh so it's, it's, it's a perfect type of fight really when you rewind back to those amateurs like you mentioned you never faced each other but were you on each other's minds in terms of being future opponents either in the amateurs or then in the pros I mean, he could have maybe thought about that. It, it, uh, I, it crossed my mind um, that I I would maybe have thought him had I stuck with the Amadeus. Um, so I always fancied it, but I felt it was the right time for me to turn pro when he went and did um, did great stuff in the in the way that that when I turned over anyway. So um, yeah, it was it was something that could have happened, but we didn't we didn't get around to making it. But uh, strangely, as always through the pros, we have the, I don't think it, there's been a mention about us boxing each other even. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's looking very hot now. You've got the smile on your face heading in towards the fight. Tell me, what does the scout report read for you when you watch the tapes of, of Sean or having seen him up close and personal? What, what do you feel are his best assets in the places where you feel you can get the advantages over him in the ring on July 1st? Can't give away the game plan, my son. Come on, <laughs> no. Um, I think uh, I think I've got a great engine, which is something I've been been blessed with. Um, I've I've been trying new things out and pulling them off. I've been uh, working on things that I've been good at previously and adding things that I've never done before. So I genuinely feel it's going to be uh, a really real, if you want to say, come out performance for myself. And people realizing just how good I am. There's always pressure in fights, but I feel like the pressure might be on you a little bit more so, considering that you're fighting in your your back garden. So you've really got to put on a performance, and you've really got to get the win, I guess. Too. Do you feel that sense of pressure in this fight? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be pressure, man. Put it, put it all on you. It's all good. <laughs> fairs, uh, fairs, Kieran. Uh, now, interestingly enough, uh, it won't also be. It won't just be Sean. You're fighting. In the ring, in the corner, you have the likes of Joe Gallagher, who's somewhat seen as influential, one, in terms of game plan uh, for fights, and two, in terms of maybe influencing people, uh, whether it be judges or refs. Not not my words, but how people maybe perceive Joe sometimes. Um, what about that sort of battle that will be happening on the outside of the ring uh, on July 1st, too? Uh, Tony Borg's my guy in the corner. He's he's won world titles. He's won all, all sorts of belts. He's got British Commonwealth champion now with Gavin Gwynn. He's going to be more than a match for um, Gallagher. You, this this fight is for the uh, Celtic Super Welterweight and IBO Continental Super Welterweight. Look, uh, ranking titles, but where do you feel does a win put you in terms of your future ambitions and, and where you want to get to this year? Yeah, we've got like sort of a... Um, a route planned out uh, the IBO taking that 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 direction with them because uh, I think they're a really good genuine governing body. They're not um, not as fond of the finances as some of the other bodies, uh, but we are we we've got a clear route. We can we can progress after this fight as long as I do the business on the night. Um, there's uh, there's genuine options open further down the line, and uh, I see it as being a uh, very bright year for myself. Kieran, uh, Colin was telling me that you're not just uh, a boxer, as are most people, but you ha- seem to have a lot more going on outside of just being uh, someone who fights in the ring. Can you give me a bit of a flavour of what you do exactly and, and how you're able to balance everything uh, heading in towards a fight? Yeah, um, I uh, I do the, doing the event organisation for the promotions on uh, on site in uh, Bigavani because it's something that... Uh, I wanted here, and uh, Mo Mo wanted to 
to pursue with me, the the promoter. Um, so I, I've done all the arrangements for that. Um, I plenty of other things I do. I've, read, I've written a book and I'm developing another one as well. Uh, Danny with seconds out interviewed me about the book when I came out a couple of years back. Um, yeah, so we're uh, I've, I've I've got plenty going on, but I balance it all because I've got a good wife and. Uh, Lovely family I go home to and get to uh, get to enjoy every evening rather than uh, flitting about doing this and that. I can uh, I come home and concentrate on on what I need to do. What's the second book about? It's going to be sort of a, a look back at uh, the the first book was my first five years as a pro. If you like, or my first few years as a pro, and the second book is going to be looking at uh, the next the the second lot and how my career is going to progress and hopefully going into management, promoting things that I want to do um, and th- how I bounce back from my operation and different uh, different aspects along with juggling, boxing and and my um, and my personal life. Now, I've not seen it, but Colin also tells me you've got a YouTube channel. Uh, what's your YouTube channel on? Yes, yeah, uh, Boxing in Wales. So we're trying to promote amateur boxing in Wales, trying to platform it. Um, we look back. It's sort of a it's sort of a match of the day type of thing. Okay. Look back at uh, the amateur amateur show, um, am, amateur shows, amateur tournaments that go on, and then um, we will be well. We do uh, break down uh, how will their performances go, and we follow someone like uh, Solomon Khan is 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 one guy from Cardiff from Grange in Cardiff. We had his very first fight, I think, or his third fight on film his fifth fight and then we had his um uh his championship novice championship title so we've we got all of his uh his short career all, all on film so far so if he goes and progresses it'll be uh it'd be a great watch for all his his fans and friends and that stuff but we want to develop it so that um we'll be showing the tournaments every year streaming them and and putting as much of a spotlight on our box as we can in wales Sounds like a passion for you. Obviously, you you've been through that system, uh, but you could have just focused on yourself. Where did that where did that passion kind of originate from? Was it was it from you know being involved in the amateur scene? Yeah, I, I probably stays over with the Welsh West on for myself, and um, it's it's almost a different sport to pro boxing, amateur boxing. So I, it deserves its own platform. It shouldn't just be looked at every every few years when the big tournaments come around and. Uh, Wales is massively underrated in what we can produce. Um, you know, we've got some of the best world champions there's ever been, not just British world champions, some of the best ever come from our country. And, uh, you know, Jimmy Wilde, Joe Calzaghe, um, Jim Driscoll, is, 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 lots, lots of names that are really, like, top-notch in, in pound-for-pound lists and stuff. Um, so... We, we can produce this talent and if we get more people doing it the more talent we can produce this is uh fight fight but boxio and it means uh boxing in the blood and that's what uh that's what a welsh person has i think well looking at the top of the scene in terms of welsh talent joe cordina captured or recap captured his world title mm. uh a few months back i wonder what you make of the the state of professional boxing uh for welshmen right now in in, in terms of the scene Yes, fantastic. Having Joe leading the way there is great. And um, you've got someone like Gavin Gwynn who's come through all small little shows as well. You've got uh, Liam Williams who's been at the top level and is still still able to compete there. It's, um, it's an exciting time for us and the reason we can't have big, big, big shows here. Uh, hopefully that's that's the way that we're going to be heading. And uh, I want to be a part of it for the next 10 years, not just uh, not just for my own career, but for others as well. Uh, Colin also tells me that you you've been selling sport and boxing related items. I wonder if anything interesting has ever passed through your hands uh, in this venture. Uh, we 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 um, sell uh, boxing gear mainly, um, gloves and Cleo Reyes equipment. So if anyone needs any Cleo Reyes equipment, come to Get in Sports because we're a physical supplier. But uh, not not too not too much interest in only bits of memorabilia my dad uh, passed down to me that I like. Now, in the Super Welterweight division, uh, the British champion stands at the moment as Josh Kelly. 
uh, look, you will have your targets on getting a fight with him in the future. Could should you come through the likes of Sean on July first? But what are you made of, of Josh's move to super welterweight and his his current prospects of getting towards the top as as to where he wants to get to in the sport too? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't think he's going to be. Even though he's very very gifted, I don't think he's going to be a world champion. Um, but I also don't see him defending his British title either. I think he's probably going to move on back up to try and win a European title and um and maybe further if if he can. But yeah, he's he's a he's a fantastic boxer. Um I don't really see how our paths cross him, but it'd be a great opportunity if it did. I'll leave the final word with you, Kieran. What happens on July first in your fight with Sean Yaxley? Kieran Gethin does the job. Kieran Def- Gethin does the job indeed. Uh, where can we find you on social media heading towards the fight too? Plug your social media channels so people can follow you watching this interview. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's uh, Twitter, Instagram, at Kieran Gethin. Um, I'm on LinkedIn, on Facebook, at Kieran Gethin Boxing. Uh, and YouTube, Boxing in Wales. You can see all about catalogue of my amateur career and a bunch of my profiles as well. So if you're a fan, please have a look at that. And uh, I guarantee you'll be entertained. 